her, I guess. I don't want to start a new quest, though. If I can avoid it. What's this lady doing? Hey. What are you doing under a waterfall? Are you going to take a bath or something? If that's the case, Paimon won't deserve you. What? A bath? I'm pondering some profound questions. If I must say, I suppose I'm meditating. You had come thundering in and interrupted my train of thought. Perhaps I would have come, already come with the answer. Meditating? I read in a book, if you run into something you can't make sense of, if you just meditate, maybe sometimes you'll find the answer. I didn't under misunderstand that, right? Let's see. A human most strange in a rainbow balloon. You two must be from outside the village. Right. Paimon's Paimon. She's the traveler. Wait, wait a, wait a sec. So you're right to say we're not from around here. What do you mean, rainbow balloon? Oh, right. You may not see it that way. I almost forgot about that again. Let me think. Right. Traveler. What does Paimon look like to you? Paimon is Paimon. Uh, that sounds right, but also sounds like you didn't answer the question at all. Ha 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 ha! Interesting. But to my eyes, Paimon is just like a little rainbow balloon floating in the air. Her string seems to extend upward to somewhere beyond the sky itself. What? Wait. What? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was terrifying. Um, all right. So if anyone's watching, the reason I just freaked out from that is that line alludes to a particular fan theory about um, about the nature of Paimon and the only the only explanation for that is that Paimon is indeed a, a mole or a agent of Celestia <sighs> what the seriously Yes, and what does the Traveler look like in your eyes, Paimon? Uh, of course, Paimon's golden hair traveling companion. Don't tell Paimon you see something else. What I see, if I really must say, when I see a monster that looks like it could swallow the whole world in a single bite. What? What I see, if I really must say, when I see a monster that looks like it could swallow the whole world in a single bite. That's what the Traveler is. A monster that could swallow the whole world in a single bite. That is what the Traveler is. That's way too scary. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Perhaps you've heard us West Melzuzus can see things that humans cannot see. But for some reason, I see things differently. Even when compared to other Millicenes, I can always find things that have been hidden. I've read that the nature of things is hidden beneath them, and this nature decides their future. Not that I know what that means. And if that's the case, how do you know that we're outsiders? Well, though what we see is different, we can still find ideas that we have in common. Just like how you can tell a flower is still a flower, no matter how strange the color, right? As long as I spend enough time with everyone, I can grasp the concepts that everyone talks about and then pretend to fit in. If I hadn't looked special in my eyes at all, I wouldn't have struggled to find the right concept to describe you. As I thought, it seems that I still have lots to learn. Ah, oh, what is this bunch of stuff that Paimon doesn't really get? On one note, we've been talking for ages, but we don't even know your name. 
what is a name but an artificial code that confers false uniformity on a different precomposition. Still, everyone calls me Kantoa, Kanotila, Kanotila, and you may do so as well. Wow, you talk in such a roundabout way, just like a scholar. Roundabout, is that how you see it? I don't usually talk with humans from outside, so I don't quite understand your method of communication. I'm merely making deductions and inferences based on what I have read in books. You keep talking about what you've read in books. Do Melu scenes read too? Uh, it must be really inconvenient. You'd pretty turn the pages. <laughs> yeah, but they maybe they don't use their hands, but the feelers on their heads. Um, wait, that's not the point. Still, Paimon wasn't expecting there to be books hidden here. Yes, an amazing scholar left them behind, all hidden inside a secret base. All of what I just said, I learned from those books. There's even a book here that I couldn't understand. Meditation has allowed me to comprehend it. Every little, every, ever so little of it. But lately, I've been making no progress, no matter how I rack my brain. That's why I came here to meditate and try to find a way forward. A book that can't be understood... Why are arcane secrets never meant to be known by anyone, usually encrypted in books like that? Speaking of secrets, that usually means treasure. Now that Paimon thinks about it, she's getting curiouser and curiouser. If you're interested, why don't you take... Why don't you... Why don't I take you there to take a look? That book is important to me, but I must find a way to understand it. You appear to be knowledgeable and well-informed outsiders. Perhaps you will be able to understand that book quite easily. I've solved a puzzle or two. That's right. We're like super professionals at this. Come on. Cantole. Can. Can. Otila. Can. Otila. Show us the way. 